Hi, I'm Nick Driftwood, filmmaker and Panasonic Lumix ambassador. Hi, I'm John McGregor. I'm a product trainer with Sennheiser. In this video, we're going to be looking at uh, external recording devices when we uh, obviously want a little bit better sound, we want more inputs, you know, rather than just the two which you get on something like the XLR1. Um, so John, options, what have we got? Well, we've got with us today uh, a Tascam. This is the DR701D. Um, Obviously, there are other manufacturers out there that do different devices, but you know this is a great this is a great choice. It gives you four microphone inputs. I've got three here, another one here, and obviously you've got different line outputs, headphone outputs. So it's a great choice for monitoring, and it just means you've got you know a little bit more control over multi-channel operation. So this is something you'd look at if you're going to go beyond two microphones. Yeah, and it nicely fits underneath the camera. I mean, something like this, and there are you know equally good uh, external recorders uh, available, not just the Tascam, uh, which do a similar trick. Um, you've also got uh, the a time code input for syncing uh, your sound uh, via time code from the camera. Um, you can also do a line level input as well if you need that. And you've got HDMI in out for rec uh, control recording. Anything else you want to add to that one? No, absolutely. It's a great device. And it just makes your life that little bit easier, especially when you start using things like boom poles. Yeah. Um, you want to give yourself just that little bit more control. And, you know, especially even if this is off the camera, it makes life that little bit easier for the XLR cables running on the floor. So, yeah. Yeah. And it's great, you know, for a, even if you're a single cameraman, um, you know, it's great to have extra inputs. But uh, obviously, <coughs> the more and more mics you introduce, then you do recommend a sound man. Well, yeah. You know, especially when you're moving beyond two. I mean, yeah, OK, you could have this on the bottom of your camera and have four microphones running. But that's a lot of that's a lot of workflow to go through. So if you're getting into that multi microphone environment, bring in a sound guy, bring in someone to help you out, especially someone who's going to hold the boom pole for you. Uh, but more specifically, this is someone who's going to be dedicated just listening to what's going on. They're not watching what's happening on screen, which you have to do if you're a single camera operator. But if you've got someone who's just listening to it, they can tell you when something's gone wrong with the audio and you're not getting distracted by it as well. And of course, with the salmon, they'll probably bring along a, a proper, you know, sound field recorder. Absolutely. Um, with, uh, you know, ob obviously all the uh, the settings and functionality that's required yeah, yeah. to record with a whole array of different microphones. Yeah. Um, but what about uh, bigger mixing desks? You know, if you've got more than, say, you need more than four inputs. Oh, well, if you're going down that route, I mean, there are there are also uh, mobile recording devices that will do more than uh, do for more than four inputs. But if you're looking at the idea of going down the mixing console route, then you are definitely getting into the territory of bringing in a sound guy. Mm. Um, then it's a choice of what mixing console you can you can rent in or buy in for your budget. Um, and then you are going to have a lot more control over the audio. And that's the point, is choosing, you know, working within your budget, working within your, your knowledge set of how far you can go with the sound. And as you become more comfortable, you can move up to, to things like mixing consoles and bringing in a sound guy to help you with that. And therefore, you're getting really, really prime control of exactly what you're trying to record. Yeah, because of course you want something a bit more than, than sometimes what this can only offer gain. We might want to do what inbuilt EQing. Um, there's all sorts of uh, situations where, you know, like we said earlier, you can improve the sound on the input first and foremost. As they say, garbage in, garbage out. So, yeah, yeah absolutely. you agree with that? Yeah. Thanks very much, John. Uh, and that concludes our quick guide to external recorders with the Lumix cameras. Panasonic.